Hello guys, today I'm interviewing Steve Davis. He is zero and one currently, but he is back out on the 29th of October at the Vell um, Arena in Cardiff. So, yeah, how how are you? Yeah, I'm good, buddy. How are you? That's I, I'm good as well, mate. Bit gutted that the Ben Eubank fights off because it was meant to be today, but it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yes. My first question is, um, do you agree with the stoppage? Oh, my fight? No. no. I disagree as well, mate. I think it was a bad... St- no, like, I disagree with the stoppage. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I-, I thought you were doing very well, mate. Yeah, I was doing all right. You, I mean, you was a big boy, you was strong. Um, but I don't think I was ever troubled. I wouldn't hurt. Um, don't think at any point in that fight, that was it. Uh, yeah. Like, Going into that third round, I had one round of peace. All right. Yeah, because I, I think, I don't remember, because I, I forgot what round I gave you, but definitely I gave you a round I remember. Oh, man. <laughs> but... Your next opponent is Ryan Pocock, is it? Yeah, Ryan Pocock. Yeah, because he's one win, one defeat, mate. Uh, yeah. Because he, he got stopped in his debut as well. Yeah, he got caught with a good shot. I've seen I've seen the fight. Um, at the end of the day, I mean, live and learn. He got caught with a good shot. He come again. He, I mean, he won his next one. Yeah, and, and it's a real 50... Because you're selling tickets as well, cause, and he is as well. Are you going to go, like, on the road a lot? or? No, oh, I'm, I'm on the road. I'm just selling a couple of tickets. It's just, uh, I mean, <clears throat> it's, it's close to home. i got a missus and I want to come watch, so there's only a, only a handful of tickets I'm selling, not a lot. So not not overly too much, but a quite, no, no. just a few, which is good, mate. So you've got, did your, did your missus come to your last fight? No, no, just me and my co- uh, no, me and my manager. Oh, my was coach it because it was in Birmingham and you live in Wales? Yes. Oh, that's why, yeah. But would you ever rematch that Ryan Whitehead, was it? Um, Again, if the rematch comes again down the line? Yeah, yeah, I'll fight, I'll fight anyone. Yeah. <laughs> you give me the money, I'll fight them. Yeah, that's the spirit, mate. So, is your fight against Ryan four rounds? Uh, yeah, yeah, four rounds. Yes. Is it in Is it in your hometown? No, no, it's uh, it's in Cardiff. I'm not sure if it, I think he might be a Cardiff, but he's at Cardiff and Newport. He's down. He's from down that way. Yeah. Um. Where, no. Where's where where where's your gym? Um, I'm training over the gym in Nelson. Uh, it's in the valleys. Oh, and and who's your like coach trainer? Uh, my main coach is a lad called uh, Luke Osman. He was an ex uh, like road warrior, but uh, like I, said, I do a lot with Joe Morgan. His father helps me out massively. Um, I got quite a few people who help me out with this So It's not just one person. It's quite a few. It's like uh, I I train out mainly out of Nelson and the boxing club. They got some yeah. great amps there. Uh, the coaches there are brilliant. They help me out as well. I mean, it's not just I mean, one or two people. It's literally got about five, six people behind me helping. Are you um middleweight? Uh, yeah. Well, I fought my last one, a super middle. This one's a super, but uh, it's just because they were the fights I were offered. But no, I am a middleweight. Yeah. But you'll float around super middle, middleweight around there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try and work my way back down to Lemonstone. Um, try and get down there, <laughs> Might take a bit, like. Were you nervous before your debut? Uh, not really. It's probably the least nervous I've ever been. Really? Uh, yeah, genuine. Um, uh, I think it's because of the boys I was in the change room with. They, I mean, they, they were just boys on the road and the laugh, and uh, <laughs> they just mellowed the place out a bit, like, you know what I mean? What, were you in the, um, with the away fighters, yeah? Yeah, with all the away boys. And then the home fighters had one, and they were in there together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Were they nice lads in there? Top lads, every one of them, all good boys. I think Stu Greener was in there, who I've interviewed. He's a good lad. Yeah, he's a good boy. Yeah, 
he was in a tough fight, wasn't he? Well, did you watch it? I didn't see it. I think he was on. After one you. Me. We had one before me, one after. I can't remember. Yeah, I didn't was, see it. It was the one after, and then. Oh, okay. Dwayne Grant was main event, and then. Um, uh, yeah, uh, Matty Hall. Was who, me, wasn't he? who was Matt Hall? Yeah, Matt Hall. Oh, yeah, Matt he, Hall. He, he's, a, he's a good guy, isn't he? Yeah, and Paul Cummins. Yeah. Oh, Paul Cummings was in there, was he? Yeah, I think he's fought the last three weeks on the bones. Yeah, I know. know Him and Matt (laughs) Hall fought yesterday, and again, they gave the rounds, as, you know, journeymen do. Yeah, they're good boys. Yeah. So so that's good. So you weren't nervous at all, which is good. Did you have an an amateur background? Uh, I have not a lot. Um, I did start boxing at a young age. I started when I was nine, ten. Um, I then packed it in after about a year or so. Um, I got back into it in my mid twenties. Uh, I I had what, six amateur fights and how many six did you win? Um, uh, only two. <laughs> and um, I think you I won saw, some, mate, which is the main. Yeah, thing. Well, that's, that's the thing. Like I was fighting bodies and I was beating the bodies convincingly, and I still wouldn't get a decision. And I just thought maybe I was get paid for this. Yeah. But, uh, I mean. I was the point of putting my blood, no, blood and guts into it, but all the work behind the scenes, and then getting robbed on stupid decisions. No, yeah. yeah, that's what happens when you go in the away corner, mate. Yeah, it is what it is on it. Is this your promotion, though, that you're fighting on? In... Yeah, yeah, Sanger. Yeah, Chris Sanger. So he's your promoter, and he's also Ryan's as well, I think. Yeah, yeah he promotes both of us. So do you fancy your chances in this? Is he's yeah. been stopped before? Yeah, well, I mean, I'll take it to him. We'll see where he got. No, I mean, I don't think he had much of an amateur experience. Nor have I. That is a cracking fifty-fifty fight. I can't believe he actually took it. You don't see many lads taking fights, I guess, early on. I know, mate, and fair play to both of you for taking it on early in your career. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, so I can't wait football. for the fight. It's gonna be a Good four round tear up, and maybe you might yeah. get a stoppage if you catch him. Hopefully. Well, you, I, I reckon you might, mate. You, you could do. <laughs> you Cheers, keep working man. hard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you a fan of boxing as well? Um, big fan. Yeah. So, were you were you going to watch the Eubank fight that was meant to be today? No, I couldn't get a ticket. Um. I I was I was waiting for twelve o'clock for the tickets to come on sale, and then I got I was a bit busy in work. One thing led to another. It was, it was like twenty past twelve, and all the tickets were gone. <laughs> but yeah, I went to the good. Sold out, didn't they? Yeah. But ooh, were you ooh. gonna watch it on the TV? Yeah, I was watching on TV. Who who did you like? Who did you think was gonna win? I I want Ben to win. I like Ben. What? But I can't... Everyone want ben, wanted Ben to win. I like Ben. I like his style. I like a lot about him. But I don't think he would. I think Eubank's too big, too strong. I generally, you just do a job in him like he done to Leon Williams. Yeah. I think every time Ben was done rushing in, he just got clipped and put down. Yeah. Do you like, Lee, are you a fan of Liam Williams as he's like the Welsh, a Welsh fighter? Yeah. He's a cracking fighter. Yeah. So, so, I, it wasn't his night against Eubank. No. No way. He's performed much better before. Yeah, he, he was a brilliant... I, I all fans him. I thought the best thing he'd done was go up to the Ingalls. He was brilliant and they uh, Dom Ingall. But um, I don't know what he said. He just won his night. Eubank was that good. And you can't fault him. Yeah, and, and Liam Williams goes again. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure he'll be in that title picture again very soon, you know? Yeah, yeah he's a good boy. He's very good. What have you met him before? Um, no, I haven't actually. I I followed him since um was about probably the Cockrum fight. So I've always kept an eye on him, like watching. Yeah, yeah. Did you watch Joe? Uh, so were you good friends with Joe Morgan? Because he, I remember yeah. he fought on the the Matchroom show. The yeah, yeah, I went down to watch him. Yeah, I went down there. Oh, oh, uh, you you were there? Yeah, I was there. Cordina's KO though, just I know. Outstanding. I still, I'm still watching it on repeat, mate. <laughs> yeah. But I'm gutted they've they stripped the title off him yeah. because of his injury, which 
doesn't make yeah, sense. Well, that's what interim titles were made for, so I don't understand what the issue is. But um, there we go. Yeah. But... You'll win and you <laughs> I'm sure you will. So, is that when, if Matchroom come back to, like, Wales, would you want to hop on the show? I, I doubt they'd be able to sell enough tickets to go on a show like that. If you offer me a wee corner, yeah, <laughs> happy enough to fight anyone. But um, I, I won't be able to shift enough tickets to go on a show like that. Yeah, but if they offer you like an away corner, then you don't have to yeah, buy the tickets, then you can just buy. Yeah, 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 I'd definitely jump there. That is that your dream to fight like on a matchroom show, boxer show, or something? Uh, my dream, and I know it's only a small dream. My dream is to fight for a world title. That's the uh, the main goal. Yeah, that's a good goal to have. Is winning your well national title, which is which is good because you'll be the best middleweight in Wales. Yeah, exactly. It's a big thing. It's a big thing in Wales. Yeah, it is, and lo- loads of good um fights are for like the Welsh title. I've seen. A few over the years have been good fights. Yeah, it's been some crackers over the years. Did you watch? Um, I'm not sure you know them, but they were super feather. Jacob Robinson v. Um, Angelo. Uh, I forgot his surname. Yeah, yeah, I watched Maybe. that fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who yeah, did you I want to win? Because they're both good I was, lads. I I thought Angelo would be too um. Too strong for him. Too, I, mean, I thought he'd be too aggressive, but um, no offence to Jake Robinson. He made his own and he just bloody pinged him. <laughs> That's the only way you could put it. He, he he was really good that night, no offence. He was a very good Jacob Robinson. Yeah. And um, Jacob Robinson's recently fought for the, the Commonwealth Bees, came up short, but apparently yeah. there was something, something wrong with his hand in the build-up, apparently, but, you know. Right. I didn't know that. Well, that's what he told me in our interview, so I'll just go on. All right. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's making his comeback fight um, 5th of November, so a few weeks after your fight. No, oh, like okay. a week after. So yeah, yeah, yeah. he'll make his he's comeback fight. Right? He's a good no, fighter, he's isn't he? Yeah, he's very good. Who's he fighting? I don't know. I reckon he'll be a journeyman just to get back in the swing of things. Yeah, yeah. But... At least he's staying active, which is good. Yeah, definitely. So after this fight, how many more fights do you want to have this year? Uh, this year? Yeah, you know, should get another four in. <laughs> another four, yeah. mate? You're going to be busy, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, I want, I want to be busy. Keeps the weight off, see? <laughs> yeah, and staying active. So have you been training today, mate, at all? Yeah, I, I spy and draw it. And, um, oh, yes. Ground. Yeah. yeah the I know, Joe's a bit smaller than you, isn't he? No, he's he's big. In all fact, I, I dance that. He makes a, I think a super lightweight. He's, he's huge compared to me, like in stature anyway. Yeah, so how's... It, it must be big for his weight because you're quite a Very few big. weights above him. Yeah, he's like six foot, play one or something like that. Like, <laughs> like, how tall are you? Cool. What, 5'11"? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just under 5'9". Yeah, I'm very so small. You're, what you're? What are you small for your weight? Would you say? Yeah, I'd say, uh, yeah, pr- probably. Yeah, I'm only, I was about five eight and a half something like that. So, would you ever like move down to like super welter? That that is my plan. It's where they can make the bloody weight. Is yeah, the issue. I got fat legs. <laughs> so you'll be fighting at middleweight for the time being, but until you cut. Like, I don't know, until you can make the weight of, well, super well. Yeah. 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 That's good. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So how many rounds sparring did you do with Joe? Uh, we only done five today. Uh, we sparred as well on Thursday. We done five rounds Thursday. Oh, so he, is he one of your main sparring partners, would you say? Yeah, yeah, we've done, we've done a, um, we've sparred a few, like a few times now, like, but uh, yeah, yeah, he's he's great help. Yeah, it's good because he's a he's taller than you, so it's a bit harder. Yeah. Really. Well, a little bit hard. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's a very powerful boy as well. 
what would do you see a few knockouts coming for him? Would you say? Definitely, I think when he passed as he's doing, you man, I think he's going to start flattening boys. Yeah, and I he's reckon he'll be Welsh champion and he'll push on. As yeah, well. I'm sure you're doing first, Joe Morgan. He's going to do very well. I'm telling you. Let's hope so, mate. Fingers yeah, crossed. What about um? Not sure if Ben Crocker. Do you know him? Um, don't know him personally. He beat up made the mine. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, in the in the army does. But uh, yeah, he, what my mate said, my mate was a good boy, and uh, he reckons Crocker is going. He's going to do well. Yeah, is your friend a pro boxer as well? Um. Well, he's in the middle of it. He's been wait. Well, they they gave him a pro license two years ago. Covid struck. He never fought, and then he took his license off him and said he can't fight. And um, he reckon he's got something wrong with his brain. But then I I don't know what the issue is. They're saying there's something wrong, but they're not telling him exactly what is wrong. So he, that he must don't know what's strange, happening. isn't it? That like they're not yeah. telling him why he does he want to yeah he want he, to he have his debut. Hmm. Does he want to be like have that pro license so he can fight? Yeah, well, he's he's paying money over his own pocket for it, and um, I believe um, his manager has been helping him out and actually he's got to pay for these testing because he has a special brain test, and he's just not getting, they're not giving him answers. They told him about a month ago, I uh, would be in touch in the next two weeks, and he hasn't heard a thing. He's phoning them daily, and they're like, "Oh, um, I'm going to see you yet." It's quite sad. He's a very, yeah, he's a very good boy as well. Uh, hopefully, he can have his debut soon, mate. As well. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, do you? So, will you be um after your fight? If Joe's on after you, would you go out to watch Joe? Yeah, definitely. I'll be out watching him. Win, lose, or draw, would you watch him? Yeah, yeah, of course. Win or lose, at it. I mean. As long as I put in a good performance, it doesn't bother me. I know if he goes to points, chances are I won't get a decision. So, I mean, yeah. if I don't knock, if so I don't do knock him out, do you feel like you have to knock out Ryan for the win? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Because, mate, if it's like razor tight, they'll just give it to the like the person who sold the most tickets, like the you know. Yeah, exactly. You you know how it works, mate. Yeah, exactly, but. So if it went all the way against, you know, the guy you fought on your debut, do you even if you won every round, they would probably give it to the other guy. Just that's what happens. Well, it's, it's showing time for them. Yeah, if you've seen Pucci the last few weeks, Pucci's gone on a destruction board, just battering people. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's destroying them, mate. Did you I see one of his it. knockouts? He just bomb. No, I didn't see the knockout. I was got it. And um, a year then, uh, people are dropping out against him. They don't want to fight him anymore. Yeah. Are you scared that what happened to you? Um, nah, I don't know. I said as long as I can get a fight, I'll fight. Like, you know what I mean? If it happens, it happens. Don't. Do you want me to send you a link? Poochie's fighting again tonight. Do you want to watch? I'll be watching it. I will be watching it. Oh, mate, I'll be watching that. Apparently, he's going... He's going for the win because it's his like last year in the sport, so he's got, you know got to pile these wins in just yeah. to have a good strong end, which is good. And he gets like a sudden title or something, something out of it. He deserves it, Andy. Yeah, like is it, yeah. He's had under sixty-one fights. You know what I mean, he served his time. Let him have a shot at the title. And he's lost over a hundred fights, and he's only been stopped like 10, 11 times, which is amazing. Yeah. If you I mean, look at like, if you look at Seamus Devlin, what's he had now? Forty odd fights. I don't think he's been stopped yet. He's fighting again tonight, so you, yeah, you should watch. Seamus, oh no, Poochie's on second, and Seamus is on first. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So do you want? I reckon, I reckon Poochie will cause the upset, but um, I hope he does. Uh, will will a hundred percent survive? Is the like. But you said, like, I've I seen Shameless, uh, Shameless, school a boy, and went, win every round. Oh, my God. And then they give him one round. <laughs> and how many rounds was the fight? Uh, four round fight. Didn't lose a round. The boy, I don't think the boy landed a punch. But yet they give the lad, like, a 39, 37 score or something like that. It was. Do you know who that 
like fighter was? I don't want to say. I don't want to go like slagging other fighters off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. You don't want to you know, like get into beef, do you? And bother. <laughs> no, I'm all about peace and love. Yes, mate. And do you, <laughs> and do you want to shout out? Actually, do you? My last question is: Do you have any advice for someone who wants to be a pro boxer? Uh, big advice: Don't let anyone tell you you can't do it. Just keep working hard. Yeah. I'm not the most dead. I'm not. I am, but I just work, and I just kept working. I have had loads of people tell me you can't be a pro boxer. I mean, loads. <laughs> But uh, you just and keep looking at you now, mate, and you're fighting mm-hmm. in Wales, and you're gonna knock out the guy. Yeah. So even if you do lose, you you can still say you are a pro boxer, and <laughs> well, quite a few can say that, but the people who doubt you, mate, won't be laughing now because you've made it. Exactly, buddy. But uh, oh, I'm going for the win, and like I said, I'm open again, but open and stop the boy. But uh, we see what happens. You what happens on the night. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good Good luck, mate. I hope you win. And um, thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for having me on, bud. Bye, mate. Appreciate bye. It. Take care of yourself, bye.